pretty lady. Hi, pretty lady. Morning, everybody. This is Brittany at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. I am here with this beautiful girl, Gabrielle Tiger. Good morning, Kara. We never get to see her up on our platform anymore. She's always down on the ground. Good morning, Key and Jackie. Gabby. Good morning, Tammy. Hello, Kate. Thanks for joining. Hi, Brian. Good morning, Noor. Gabby girl. Hi. Hello, Christina. Gabby's still waking up on a Monday morning. Good morning, Judy and Donna. I love watching her up here on this platform, so I was really excited when I was driving by and saw her up there. Good morning, Lori and Kim and Rochelle. Hello, Lisa. Ashley here with Miss Gabby at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. Oh, look at that sleepy face. Hi, Laurel. Look at that sleepy face. Good morning, Janice. Hi, Tabitha. Thanks for joining, everybody. We're going to do a little walkabout this morning. We got a lot of keepers today, so I was not needed to feed. on that platform. She can see uh, keepers Bethany and Mike walking back from doing walkouts. Hello Margo. Hi Pat. This is Gabby. Yep, we do refer to her as the pocket tiger. She's one of our smallest tigers and she's just very, very small for a, for a tiger in general. Awesome, Becca. Yep, our December tours are always really good because it's cooler weather and the cats are usually pretty frisky. Morning, Rhonda and Misty. Where are we going? Now she's going to get restless before breakfast. We feed every day between 8 and 9. Look at her tiny little legs. Her short little legs. We believe she's probably smaller than most tigers uh, because of the breeding facility that she came from. A lot of times if they keep trying to breed smaller and smaller tigers, they can use them for a lot longer Hi. in the cub petting industry. I know. So Gabrielle came from a breeding facility in Colorado, a failed facility, where they were breeding her again and again and again, taking her cubs immediately so that they could be used for um, photo props. Yes, I know. And then finally when she was too old to breed and the facility was shut down, she came here. Uh, you'll have to learn about Gabrielle's age and story at BigCatRescue.org slash Gabrielle. I know. And there's no way I could tell you exactly what subspecies or species of tiger she is because she was captively bred. Um, and unfortunately, a lot of that has inbreeding involved. So there's no real way we would be able to tell you for sure what her lineage is is and that pretty much goes for almost all captive bred tigers i know so she's gonna get a little pacey because she's excited for breakfast she's got a lot of space she's got two swimming pools and a bunch of dens all of her sections are connected through tunnels and doors good morning sean good morning sarah we're here with gabrielle Every time I see Gabrielle, I like to point out that one of our awesome viewers, Jessica Marks, uh, made an adorable image of her where she looks like she's in a shirt pocket because we call her the pocket tiger. <laughs> yes. And um, that's available at catrescue.biz. And you can go there and search pocket tiger, Gabby pocket tiger, and you'll find her. 
a lot of different styles of shirts. Oh wow, Sarah, you had a snow day today. Oh boy, it is uh, 75 and muggy here in Tampa, Florida right now. Um, it's very overcast. I'll show you our beautiful lake view, but there's not a lot of a lot of cloud going on today. I'm sure we'll get rain at some point. I don't know if that'll help cool us off or not. I know. You are such a beautiful girl. Thank you, Amanda, for your donation. Yep, we are open to the public every day of the week, uh, except for on Thursday. Thursday is our project day, and it's a day where we might move cats from enclosure to enclosure, vacation rotation switch outs, things like that. Wow, nine inches of snow, oh my goodness. I was born and raised in Ohio and lived there for 30 years. So I'm no stranger to snow. So you can see Gabby can go through one side, out into another side. So you're gonna roll around and be cute. Are you gonna roll around? So I'm no stranger to snow. I just certainly don't miss snow. My husband and I have lived here um, since 2015. What you doing? Oh, it's potty time. All right, private time. <laughs> Let's actually, since we're already back along the back side here, we'll see if we can see Keisha or maybe Kali. This is the back side along the lake. There's Miss Keisha. Oh, uh, have an awesome day, Monica. You can always watch this later. It'll post automatically on our Facebook page. Hi, Keisha. Hi, sweet girl. Keisha. So if you guys are new to us, we're a Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. We're one of the world's largest accredited sanctuaries. We're a true sanctuary, so we don't do any buying, selling, trading breeding or touching any of our cats. So Keisha's the one closest to me and the one up and moving in the background is Kali. Thank you, Jody. I'm glad you enjoy the videos. Carol and I try to do live videos as often as possible. And then when you still want your fix, you can go to bigcatcams.com. And from there, you can watch many, many, many of our live cameras that are all over property. Maybe we'll get a closer look at Kali. I know the ponds are a little loud too. All of our tigers here have swimming pools and they are fed from the lake that I just showed you. So it's a little noisy. Kali! Hi. <laughs> Good morning. This is Kali Tiger. <laughs> that noise she's making is a chuff. It's what we call a tiger hello. Hi, sweet girl. Uh, Jamie, not really. Um, tigers are pretty much the only cat that truly loves water. Everybody else is kind of like your typical cat at home where like if their foot gets wet, they're offended. <laughs> so the tigers, rain or shine, they're out swimming in their pools, standing in the rain. Hi, sweet girl. Oh, it looks like, uh, looks like Keisha's up. Hi, Keish. <laughs> hi, yes, let's say hi to your neighbor. Hi, sweet girl. Oh, hi, baby. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Thank you for the chats. Thank you. So this is Keisha Tiger. Keisha and Kali are both 18 years old. And our Keisha girl's been through a lot. A handful of months ago, she had a stroke. And we were very, very concerned with losing her. You'll also notice she doesn't have, uh, she's missing most of her tail. She's actually also missing part of her ear. 
and some of the stripes on her legs don't match up. All of that was from a previous facility uh, where she was housed right next to uh, lions with a shared wall and the lions took her tail. Good job, lady. She's waiting on breakfast and meds. Here's Kali again. No, as I mentioned earlier, we are a true sanctuary. We don't do any buying, selling, treating, tra trading, breeding, or touching any of the cats. And the reason we don't touch the cats is it's disrespectful. They are wild animals with dangerous instincts. It's not fair to pluck them, <laughs> you know, from a, a life where they should be wild and free, put them in cages, and then pet them because that's what you want to do. Also, if they were to hurt us accidentally or on purpose, uh, the CDC could have you put them down and cut their head off and test them for rabies. And we love these cats way too much to ever put that risk at play, so we do not touch any of the cats here. We never go in the enclosures unless the cats are sedated or they are locked into a separate section of the enclosure. Hi, baby. I know. Priya was just swimming. She loves to do that to me. She'll only swim when I'm not able to get over there and see her. That's Priya Tiger over there. Let's see if she was going to get back in. Gonna take me on my morning walk if I go over there. I actually intended on going over and seeing some of the servals this morning. Okay. And who doesn't want to start their morning with a bunch of hissy servals? <laughs> That's when I saw Gabrielle up on her platform and she looked so pretty so I stopped there first. And then I decided to see her neighbors. So if you guys are just joining we've seen Gabrielle, Keisha, Kali, and a little glimpse of Priya. I think we'll head back over. I was gonna see, maybe we can see Des Serval. Yeah, I, I don't always see your comments or questions, so forgive me if I miss anything. Good morning, Marlene. Especially when I'm walking, it's kind of narrow along the lake. The last thing I wanna do is fall in the lake. <laughs> so, probably missing questions and comments. But if you're not familiar with us, again, we're Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. We're one of the world's largest accredited sanctuaries and we're a true sanctuary. We're not like a zoo at all. Bye, BB. Here's Gabrielle again. And it's almost breakfast time, which is why they're all up and moving. If I were to come out and video them even a few minutes after they've eaten breakfast, you either don't see them because they're asleep in their dens or you see them but they're grooming or lounging somewhere usually not against the side. Okay, just gonna see if we, yeah, we have a very cute bobcat boy over here. There's Stan! Thurston! Hi! This is Thurston Bobcat. You were right next to my cart. Thurston was rescued along with several others from a really terrible place in Kansas. Thurston! He um, lives in this enclosure with Lovey, another bobcat. <laughs> well, that's what we get. He realized I didn't have the food, so no need to stay. I'm not sure if Lovey's out and about yet or not. You can see all the way back there to that really far platform is where Thurston Lovey's enclosure goes to. We'll go back to our original mission. We'll head over and try to see Des Serval. And thank you to everybody helping answer questions and comments as I'm not always watching the screen. If you 
come here on a feeding tour or a keeper tour, you usually always see Thurston and Lovey. Now tomorrow, Susan Bass, myself, and uh, Chris Poole from Cole and Marmalade, and I believe Afton will be with us. We're gonna go live multiple times tomorrow. Um, fundraising to help fill these empty cages you see over here. We are rescuing three tigers from Guatemala, and tomorrow is Giving Tuesday. It's one of our largest fundraising days of the year, and we are raising money to bring these three tigers from um, circuses that have been banned in Guatemala. And they are going to live here, and we're hoping to raise enough money um, for their food and vet care for the first four years that they're here. So make sure, if you guys are new to us and you wanna watch, uh, I think Afton might hand out some enrichment, um, and Chris is gonna go live on his page for cola marmalade, so it should be fun. And that's all gonna be tomorrow. So let's find Des Serval. where that boy is. He's got a pretty large enclosure and he's excellent at camouflage. Anybody spot him yet? Because <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Sometimes you don't spot them until they just barely move, like an ear or a tail. Oh, there you are, sir. Hi. I know. Good morning. You guys see him now? This is Des Serval. Grooming. All right, I'm stationary in one place. If I've missed any questions, go ahead and ask again. I try not to stare at my screen. I try to watch the cats or where I'm walking. So thank you again to um, anyone who's sharing this live feed, helping answer questions or has donated. So tomorrow, weather permitting, we should be going live quite a bit. Yeah, Melissa, while I was driving in, there were like patchy areas of fog today, but not nearly as, as bad as some areas I saw. Where are you going, Des? This is Des Serval. He was found along the side of the road um, in Arizona. Uh, most likely was an abandoned pet. When they found him, he was super dehydrated and kind of on the last bit of life um, and he was found with only three legs and he actually does really really well having that limitation let me see if I walk around the other side if you can see him any better hi sweet boy you're so cute you can at least see his white I know so as I mentioned the hissy serval hello you guys are just joining. This is Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. Uh, my name is Brittany. I'm a keeper here as well as a staff member. I try to go live um, pretty much every day that I'm at the sanctuary unless it's a volunteer day. I don't video and do all that stuff when I'm actually working with the cats. I need to get a GoPro um, because a lot of the most interesting stuff happens with me while I'm working with the cats and if I could be hands-free that'd be great. Uh, I haven't haven't gotten that technology yet. Yeah I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. We had a very busy weekend. Um, lots and lots of sales at bigcatrescue.biz and our Amazon sales are still going. We have a couple new sales for Cyber Monday. Yeah, I need like the GoPro that either mounts to like my forehead or <laughs> something. <laughs> Who knows? I wish my eyeballs were cameras because then I would, <laughs> I'd capture all kinds of great stuff. All right, you look very cozy. 
Thank you, Karen, so much for your donation. Really, really appreciate that. Um, the live feeds tomorrow, I can't truly tell you um, for sure when they're going to be. Um, our hopes is that Susan and I will go live around 745 because at 8 o'clock in the morning, um, Giving Tuesday has a huge match um, where they're giving away like $7 million or something crazy. And just to grab a hold of any of that money would be helpful. So anyone who plans to be donating, um, if you can do it, you know, real close to eight o'clock or right at eight o'clock, that is hopefully going to help us tremendously. <laughs> I believe Susan's going to post some more information, um, or at least she can give me some more information. We'll make sure you guys know what's going on for tomorrow for Giving Tuesday. Good morning, Susan. Daz is here in the food cart. All right, sweet boy. All right, let's go see. Daz is pretty close to several cutie pies, so let's go see who's out. If you guys are new to us too, you can find out about all the cats that live here at bigcatrescue.org slash cat bio. Here's Diablo. Hi Diablo! Diablo is a savanna cat. He's very shy though, so sometimes that's about all you see of him. He has a little bit of a man crush on Cyrus though, so he likes to hang out near Cyrus. Hi! Hi, sweet boy! This is Cyrus Caracol. Hi, sweet boy! Hi! So goofy. Super ready for breakfast. Super ready for breakfast. Yeah, you can donate either right here on this feed or thank you, Karen. You can go to bigcatrescue.org slash donate. There's also a link in the description of this video where you can donate specifically for the Guatemala cats on our salsa page. It's a really long link, so I can't say it out loud, but it's right there in the description of this live video. If you look in the background, you can kind of see chaos. It's also a caracal wandering around been trying to win her over so she'll be a little more accepting to me being around. That's Nikita Lion roaring. <laughs> What's that lion talking about? He kind of looked like he knew what she was saying. <laughs> Do you know what he, do you know what Nikita's talking about? Oh boy. Oh boy. I know. So goofy. Let's go see if we can see. Um, I was really hoping Diablo was going to come back over, but he didn't. Let's go see your next door neighbor. We'll go see Chaos. She's up and moving. Been trying to get her used to me so she'll tolerate me having her on video. That was Nikita Lioness roaring. Oh, Hachi! Hi, Hutch! Oh, goodness sakes. Wow. Hi. This is Hutch. He's an African serval. Oh, my goodness sakes. Oh, my goodness sakes. We didn't make it over there yet. And Beecher. Beecher next door. Hi. So silly. If you guys are just joining, we have seen Gabrielle Tiger, Keisha, Kali, and Priya. We came over and saw Dez Serval, a little glimpse of Diablo and Cyrus. Now we're at Hutch. You're a cutie pie. You and that curly tail. 
yesterday on the keeper tour, we gave him uh, some fresh catnip and a blood sickle and he could not decide which one he wanted. It was really cute. <laughs> he kept going back and forth, back and forth. He also has a big pile of um, straw in his enclosure. I think Afton might have put it in there to make a cute video with him because he just loved, loved having fresh straw put in his enclosure. Um, and I remember her saying it was that cute. She might do a video of it. So hopefully that's what it is because he's got a big pile in there. Hi, Beach. This is Beecher. Beecher's also a Savannah cat. I know. Everyone's super ready for breakfast. <laughs> Beecher loves to eat the grass on the other side of his enclosure. <laughs> He's so goofy. There he goes. All right, back to our original mission. Let's go see chaos. Let's go see chaos. Hi, sweet girl. Are you up and moving? Yeah. Can I come say hi? I just want to say hi to you. Just a little bit closer. I know. Okay. I'm just going to stay right here. Uh, Elena, Beecher and Hutch are neighbors that can see each other. They kind of like meow and kind of talk back and forth to each other, but they do hiss at each other as well. So I don't really know how you would gauge if they'd get along or not. They're not the same species and different ages and all that. So neither one proved to be social animals. So I know. I just want them to see how beautiful you are. <laughs> That's Cyrus again. <laughs> you followed me. You followed me. So you can see Cyrus is the male, Chaos is the female. They were housed together, obviously, probably for breeding purposes. When they came here, because we don't believe in breeding for a life in cages, we put them next door to each other um, and decided if they showed interest in each other that we would fix both of them and then try to put them together. That only lasted a short while before I, I was actually the one that came out to feed breakfast that morning and noticed that chaos was limping like crazy. Um, they obviously had gotten into a spat. Yeah. Did you maybe bite her? Is that what maybe happened? <laughs> Say, not me. And so they have remained separate. Still neighbors, still don't really show each other any major attention, so. Cats are solitary by nature, so they usually don't want to share space or compete for food or anything like that. So it kind of makes sense that they just wouldn't have wouldn't have even wanted to be stuck in a basement together. So at least here, they both have a lot of space. There's Beecher. What are you talking about? Yes, actually chaos does really well with operant conditioning and Cyrus is a maniac. <laughs> he is very, very grabby. Uh, he'll stick both feet and arms completely out of the enclosure to grab at stuff and she's very calm and actually does really well but she is still very hissy during opera. Beecher watching some squirrels. If you guys have missed any part of this feed it always posts on our Facebook page and we have a show channel that all of them go to as well facebook.com slash wildcat walkabout. And I want to thank everybody for sharing this feed and helping us reach new people as well as everyone who donated and helped me answer questions while I was wandering around. Last thing I want to do is trip and fall. If you look in the background, you can see Manny on top of his den. Everybody's getting on higher ground today to see where the feeding cart's coming. 
Um, honestly, I think tours year-round are good. Uh, obviously, the cooler months are a little bit better on everybody. Um, but, you know, every tour is completely different. That's the thing I love the most about our facility is these cats can be seen if they want to be seen or they can hide if they want to hide. You can learn about all of our different tours at bigcatrescue.org slash tickets. Uh, Natalia's doing fine. She's doing great. Um, we still just try not to stress her out by having a lot of people go back there. Um, but she's back to a regular feeding and cleaning schedule with keepers. She's doing quite well. Each, what are you doing? So goofy. And as I mentioned, we'll be going live uh, several times tomorrow for Giving Tuesday. We have a big, big goal in mind to take care of the three tigers coming from Guatemala. And we also have a $35,000 match, which is incredible. So for the most part, if you're donating, your money is gonna be automatically doubled. And thank you to all the moderators helping answer questions. Uh, Jen, I actually don't have that number. I'm hoping Susan will have all that information tomorrow when we go live. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's have a big finale. We'll go talk to Manny. Manny's on Funcation right now. Funcation is a 22,000 foot enclosure that the cats rotate in and out of for two weeks at a time. Bye, Beach. Um, Tina, we don't have a set time frame. An international rescue is a lot. <laughs> There's a lot to factor in. Um, actually, if you go to bigcatrescue.org slash foreign rescue, you'll learn all about the red tape and all the hurdles and how expensive and time consuming. Hi, bud. Oh, you can come down and see me. Yep. So this is Manny. Manny is our only jaguar. Looks like you got a big tube from the feeding tour or the keeper tour. He's gonna take us on a walk. He knows I didn't bring food. Good morning, Sonia. We are on our big finale. We're here with Manny Jaguar. Are you making noise? I think I'm hearing you make noise. Are you grunting? some grunting from you. <laughs> Thank you again to everybody sharing and donating and definitely join us tomorrow. Make sure you set your notifications to let you know when we go live. We'll be going live several times tomorrow for Giving Tuesday. All in support of the three new tigers, Max, Simba, and Kimba coming from Guatemala. I've heard he's made three different noises tonight or today. So I'm like, it's Monday. I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> it was a busy sales weekend. <laughs> Let's put it that way. What are you doing? Are you being sneaky? He's going to wait till he thinks I'm not paying attention. Back up on the hill, maybe? Nope over the feeding area, just in case somebody snuck up with food. Um, the last I heard, we had not reached the $3,500 match. Hi. You are so silly. I'm gonna follow you for a minute. You're too pretty not to look at. Uh, Anne-Marie, as far as I know, Frosty's doing well. I haven't
haven't seen him today. With our older cats and our super picky cats, it is a, every day is a blessing. But he seems to be eating like a champ. So if you guys are just joining, we're at our last cat today. We've seen quite a few though. We saw Gabrielle, Keisha, Priya, Kali. We came over to Dez, Serval. We got a glimpse of Diablo, Cyrus, Chaos, and Beecher. And of course, Hutch. And then I saw this handsome man in the background while we were talking to Beecher, so decided we should say hi. He's on his last few days of vacation. I believe cats will be moving this coming Thursday. It was supposed to be this past Thursday, but that was Thanksgiving, so they got some extra time. Good morning, Lori. If you guys have missed most of this feed, it will replay on our Facebook page, and it will also go to facebook.com slash wildcatwalkabout. I am also going to try to do an Instagram live today, so if you guys follow us on Instagram, we are Big Cat Rescue. We have an orange logo as our profile picture. That's how you know it's us. <laughs> and we'll do some li a live feature over there. Hi. And also, if you guys are still shopping for Cyber Monday, we have deals at bigcatrescue.biz as well as it's the final day to get these bracelets for $5 each at Amazon. So we sell bracelets and other products on Amazon to help support these cats. So go to amazon.com slash bigcatrescue. And today will be the last day for that. They're normally $15, so that is a heck of a deal. Buy them for yourself and your friends and your family. Mix and match them, stack them. <laughs> I get compliments on all of them. Every time I go somewhere, I should just start selling them everywhere I go. <laughs> all right, everybody. Well, again, make sure you tune in um, tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll go live a couple different times for Giving Tuesday and should have some fun things going on and some fun people with us. So I hope you all have an awesome day and a great week. I know the week after a holiday can always be kind of a bummer. <laughs> so hopefully it's a great week for everybody. Manny's going to get breakfast here soon, so it'll be a great day for him. All right, everybody, if I missed any questions or comments, I will reach out to you later today as Big Cat Rescue in the comments. So take care.